Pot over there. He can recognize all the obstacles in the way. He can see if anything changes in front of it. And it moves around the environment, knowing what obstacles are, to try to better determine the obstacles. It's extremely real time. It just started with a bunch of wheelchair motors, a whole bunch of random parts. The LiDAR on the front is our most important sensor, and it determines the environment around it in a single two dimensional plane. And you can see now that he's moved there, it's able to recognize that he's there and has trouble getting to his destination. And once he moves out of the way, it evaluates if it can go or not, and if there's any alternative pathways. What do you think the applications will be for something like this? So we were actually thinking about, um, at the beginning of the semester, there was some students that approached us that wanted to use this for like printing houses and stuff like that. Because it's kind of dynamic, as long as you can like set up poles in a bunch of corners, um, then you can just attach the cables to them and run them and move like any kind of end effector in any position. So you can just like put cables in a bunch of corners and then if you have like an end effector that 3D prints, uh, you could like print a house or something like that. And so you can just move that sort of thing anywhere, you just need the poles and that's it. Our project involved the fact that we were hired by the UTA Fab Lab to build a tool inventory system for them. The need comes from the fact that, you know, people could come in, they could be using a tool for their project, and they could base, you know, there wasn't a lot keeping them from just walking off with the tool if they wanted to, or if it was by accident, because there really wasn't any accountability. So what we did is we designed an inventory system that ties the tools to like the student via their ID. So once they check out a tool, it said this person with this ID has checked out this tool. So what we have right here is we have the public page. That's the page that anybody can see, employees, customers, etc. So without even having to log in, an employee can just come in and check this and they can already get an idea of how many tools are already checked out and they can get a rough idea of what tools are checked out. One reason why I really like this project is because there's a need for it. We've been meeting with the manager of the Fab Lab uh, almost weekly all the time we've been developing this project and letting him play around with it and overall he's satisfied with it. So we're Team Bluebrew. We got tasked with creating a Bluetooth, Bluetooth based hydrometer and this is it. So what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to take the nine degrees of freedom from an IMU unit and then um, we take the three acceleration readings and then basically find a specific gravity from, gravity from that. And then uh, in, in coupled with that, we did it based on a Raspberry Pi here, which you see, this is all the data from it, just streaming from this. But the Raspberry Pi is basically a local server. It holds a database and we've created it to be a local server so we can link up the, the website and the Android app. But the website, all this data will go straight into a database there and then we retrieve it from there. So that's what will be done. Sweet to the point. Our app is an English language app and it's supposed to help people pronounce English words better. Yeah. Come in and get a word from the server. So it's going to provide us with a word to pronounce. So our word is how. We'll go ahead and go to the recording. How. and then we're gonna go ahead and send it to be compared. So this score uh, is bounded between zero and one. So the closer to one, the closer to the native speaker the pronunciation was. So that's our, that's our app. Right. Very nice, thank you. Thanks.